cucumbers. Buddy, this is a suburban prepper here, and I'm gonna do a review of the six best prepper books that I think are out there in particular order, of course. You now, everybody's got an opinion, I got mine, so it may differ, and that's uh, that's okay. So, coming in number six is 100 Deadly Skills. And, uh, I have a lot of prepper books that made the list, but it came in six. It's more of a task condition standard kind of book. And I wanted to highlight just like a point here. Emergency medicine. Um, real basic, basic stuff. And uh, I'm like using... Dental floss to suture a wound, I would not recommend that. Uh, basic splinting. It's so it's you know basic emergency medicine. But it does go over different scenarios that are important. And it does make the list. 100 deadly skills. My next book on number five on the list is Prepper's Long-Term Survival Guide. Now this is uh, similar to 100 Deadly Skills, but more related to prepping specifically. And it's a good book. It's a good intro book. There's 12 chapters, and uh, I recommend it. So, my next uh, number four. The three, uh, a four book series on bushcraft. It's a box set. And uh, Bushcraft 101, Advanced Bushcraft, Bushcraft First Aid, and Trapping, Gathering, and Cooking. Of course, me being a nurse practitioner, army medic, and uh, I go to the first aid then right away. And it's got some basic stuff in there. Splinting. It's got a picture of some natural pathics that you can use. As you can see. So, I mean, it's a good book. Hey, I like it. Uh, obviously, the, the bushcrafting and the trapping, gathering, and cooking is quite well as well. So my next book, now oh, I love this one here. This is my uh, number three, The Lost Ways. You can get this uh, from askaprepper.com. And it goes over the old ways of doing things. Uh, setting traps and different types of plants. And uh, how to make food last a long time. There's pictures in, in it, and uh, it's a good to how-to book. I like it a lot. It even has a section on raising a posse. Of course, we call those uh, mutual assistance groups nowadays. So my number two book, and here come my puppies. My number two book, of course, well, when my puppies come, I gotta say hi. This is my sweetheart, Mona Lisa. Hi, say hi to everybody, Mama. Yeah, she's a good girl. Uh huh? Yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just happy to be here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Silly pet tricks. Yeah, she's a good girl. So, my number two book is. U.S. Army Improvised Munitions Handbook. I'm basically... I like this book because it, it goes to the down and dirty. As the song goes, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. And this is what that book's about. There's uh, 
at your own risk kind of thing here. Explosives, propellants, mine grenades, mortars, rockets, ammunition, fuses, detonators, and delay mechanisms. So it's a... Uh, I like to think of that song, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. And any other song that could be morbid. Another one bites the dust, maybe? So, I like this one. This is my number two. And, uh, you know, I was a medic in the Army. I didn't do uh, improvised munitions. I dug a foxhole a couple times. But that's about it. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My number one book is the SAS, the SAS Survival Handbook. <clears throat> the SAS, of course, stands for Special Air Service. Um, great book. What I love about this book the most is this no nonsense self defense moves that you can make. And as you can see here, it goes the, over the proper way to throw a punch. So, I mean, some people didn't know how to do a palm strike, a forearm strike. And how to be on guard and how to block. Self-defense. And it's uh, no nonsense. Of course, it goes over the other stuff related to prepping in different chapters. And I, I tell you, I just love this book. The Essentials, to me, is one of the great chapters. That's the first chapter. And strategy, you know, you got to have a good mindset when you're on SHTF. How to find water, knives, survival. So, some other honorable mentions. Excuse me for a second. Are, uh, of course, I didn't grab them right away. Let me get this here. Honorable mentions. Include it's called Rat Fight and it's a rapid assault tactics and it's a no nonsense defensive offensive uh, movements and uh, it has uh, pictures so you know it's good, it's got black and white pictures. And I mean, this is something you could practice with somebody slow. You know, we'll crawl, walk, run kind of situation. And it's a good book. Combat Secrets of the World's Deadliest Fighters. Yeah. My next uh, mention is The Forager's Guide to Wild Foods. You know, foraging. And the good thing about this book, it's in color. And it tells you where things are in what region of the United States. I mean, forge at your own risk. Edible plants, lichen, mushrooms, and seaweeds. Um, I like it. I like this book a lot. I've learned a lot from it. So, this is my uh, foraging book. Hard to forge in the winter, but, of course, every prepper, I don't care who you are, you need a home remedy, how to fix things books. And, uh, when I bought this, I was a new homeowner. <laughs> and I'm still not in it. You know, I still got a lot to learn. But it shows me a lot of the stuff that you can do. You know, it's one thing to have the books on the, on a hard drive. And if that hard drive crashes, well, I got a hard drive here. It's called a book. Now, this one here is a paramilitary covert operations. I just bought it to read. 
uh, it goes over paramilitary operations. The truth of the matter is, the infantry guidebook is going to be just uh, for for the civilian, uh, just as good. I mean, there's a. Uh, I just read it out of curiosity. It's definitely not on my top six or top ten list, to be honest. Now this one here, I'm move this paper, is living off the the land here. Hunting, gathering, survival manual, two hundred twenty one skills. It's in color. I mean that's always good. So you know it's a good book, but it's a it's it's in color. Hunting it goes over a lot of the outdoor stuff. And uh, excuse me. I uh try to get the first page here hunting fishing well we don't have pine trees around here so you know how to trap badgers finding wild onions I mean there's all different chapters Cattail, I've learned, is a superfood. Living wild. So there's different... 221 chapters. Like, uh, well, here's a good one. In reference to preparation. How to smoke your food. Of course, I have a smoker that I use wood. But if, I guess if you're out in the wild and uh, get salty with brine fish, so I, I can't see it here, but I've got tons of uh, salt for uh, curing meat. Yeah, that's uh, those are those are my books. I I got a, a shelf cases full of other books. They're in the prepping domain, but more related to my interests like gardening, medical, and some other how to fix things books. But like I said, uh, the first six are my go-to prepper books. I try not to include military manuals, but this uh, munitions was just so awesome to read. And, uh, you know, another one bites the dust, dirty deed, done dirt teeth kind of thing. So that's why I have it. All right, everybody, have a good day. So we're in prepper, Roger Wilco, over and out.